We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to lip bands because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my studio. I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna have some fun today. The other day, I saw Nate Bright of Nate Bright Art do an angel wing pour that was fabulous. So, I have a brand new split cup, and we're going to give that a try. So hold on, we'll go down to the canvas, I'll go through everything with you, and let's see how we can do this. Hold on. Okay, today we are working on a 14 by 14 canvas. It is taped and push pinned on the bottom. Make sure that's right in the center of your view. All of my colors today are mixed with mixed pour. If you want mixed pour, you can contact Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com and she will hook you up with some mix. I love the way mix works in my pours. So let's go through our colors. They're very simple and very few. So the first color that we're doing is Liquitech Basics in Dioxazine Purple. That is going to be my flood coat and it's also going to be in my cup. So that is a beautiful dark purple. My next color is a mixture. This is, I bought a new bottle of this. This is Deco Art Extreme Sheen Rose Quartz. And I mixed that along with some of Golden's Iridescent Gold Deep Fine. Uh, because I wanted it mainly the pink, but with a little bit of that gold shimmer to it. So we'll see how that works. So that's going to be. In place of a gold, we're going to have the rose gold mix. And then our final color is our white. And this is a mix of Amsterdam titanium white with a little bit of our Deco Art satin enamels in pure white. So that's going to be our white. All right, so those are our colors. I wanted to show you this new split cup I just got. So this is a five chamber split cup. And the cool thing about this is when you're not using it as a split cup, they've made it so you can turn it upside down on your canvas and use it as like a bottom bottle. So it's cool, Look, it's got the little ridges on it. But we're gonna use it as a split cup. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're gonna layer our white and rose quartz on the outside, we're gonna put our purple in the middle and we're going to flood our canvas with the purple. So let's start with that. So we're going to start on our outer sides. We're going to put a little layer of rose quartz on each side. We want to make sure that we're filling about the same height on everything. So that is our pour cup. I'm going to put that to the side. We're going to flood this canvas and get ready to pour. Now for this pour, we need to tilt the canvas. So we're gonna tilt the canvas up and we're gonna pour down. So what I probably will do is move you so you can see this better. So hold on a minute. All right. So we're gonna pour from right here in a straight pour and catch the paint when it gets to about here, we will stop. Let's see how this works. Straight line here. 
That's a problem. Okay, you definitely have to pour this just right to get your straight line. That sort of got messed up a bit. Okay, I'm going to put that down flat. I'm going to change your angle again. I'm not quite sure that worked well. I have to redo. All right, let's move you up. Okay, canvas is flooded. Split cup is all filled up. What I did is I added a little extra purple into those empty ones and didn't fill the white and gold quite as full. We're gonna hope that works. We're gonna try again. I'm gonna try and pour slower, more calmly to help that purple get where I want it. So we're gonna give it a try. Here we go. I'm gonna keep the cup a little closer to the canvas. Oh, much better. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting it. Better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows. Some reason one wing is a little bigger than the other. But I'm not unhappy. I'm not hurt by this. Okay, I'm gonna catch that before it gets too far. And let me change your angle so you can see better. Oh, uh, so much better. So much better. Okay. There we go. Now I'm happy. Oh, that's way better. Way better. Okay. Let's give that a quick torch. Clean up a bit here. Hold on. That's so pretty. All right, now we're gonna stretch this very, very carefully so I don't mess this up. So we're gonna go gently back and forth to try and stretch those wings out a bit. Just to sort of let them grow a bit. Stretch, pull up a little. I'm gonna slowly go back the other direction. Let the other one get a little stretching. Push the paint. Stretch it back. Oh yeah. Now we're getting what I want. Get that so that's pretty centered again. I'm going to tilt it back this way a little bit. To run the end here off the canvas just a wee bit. Ooh, dear. What is that? Where did that come from? I'm not even sure where that came from. Somehow that got on my camera. Ooh, this is not good. Not good. I don't know how that got there, but oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. 
Ooh, there's something else here. What is that? There's something up there too. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh, do I want to mess with it or just leave it alone? There's some beautiful lines. There's lots of lines here and lines here. And it's whether I want to make them a little bit more defined or not. And I'm thinking no, because if I do, I'll mess it up. That's gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh yeah. All right. I'm gonna clean up my edges a bit. I'm not gonna mess with this because I'll mess it up and I'll bring you in for a close up. Hold on. Okay, we have the wet results here. I'm gonna bring you in on the big guy here. Oh, look at these wings. Look at the lines. Oh, I'm hoping this dries well. I love the lines in this. And look at this. Look where it, there's this funky, fuzzed out wing tip here. I don't know what caused that, but I love it. I'm gonna go over to the wing over here and come down. Oh, I'm so pleased. The way this, look at the lines in this. Oh, I'm hoping this dries well and makes me happy. All right, that one is gorgeous. And then because I had so much paint left in the pour cup, I figured I would play. So I got out these little five by seven guys. So this is the first one I did. He's sort of cute. I'll give you a close up of him. Just like a mini me. Now the, the background paint was the scrapings from when I scraped the first one. And this is the second guy, second mini guy. So the, it's a lighter color purple because it's the scrapings from the center of the first pour, so it's got some of the pink and white blended in. But gorgeous, having fun. Oh, I'm so in love. All right, we're gonna wait for dry results. Hang in there. Okay, we have the dry results on this one, or the mainly dry. Still having trouble with getting things to dry around here. We're gonna come in here and show you up close on these wings. Look at the detail and the lines in the wings. And I love how it's very transparent on the tips. So pretty. I love the way that it turned out. All right, that is that one. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you can see some more videos. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate your presence. Have a wonderful day. Yeah.